speaking of mothers, um, <laughs> he ain't a ship, but you know, the, I, I actually asked you before we went on the air, I said, should I even talk about this fucking guy? Because there was two schools of thought here a few days ago on Twitter when I had to spank somebody. The school of thought was that, oh boy, you know, Cornette really, this guy must feel miserable because Cornette's just, I mean, they were shooting, the, sending the memes of the knockouts and, you know, just verbally eviscerated this fucking guy and this clown. And he got a ton of, of hate tweets, actually tweets, uh, accurate tweets from the cult of Cornette over it and et cetera. And I said, certainly he was doing that on purpose to get attention. Nobody, a nobody could be this stupid to to actually engage in a battle of wits and come unarmed, and and secondly, just with what he did say, it was just he's obvious he was trying. He wasn't, but then again, some people said no, he really was trying, and this was the best he could do. Which sort of like his wrestling matches. I'm talking about uh, wrestling superstar Kenny King, <laughs> who is. <laughs> Apparently on some reality show now where he and 35 other fucking guys that look all the same in their headshot and smile and they've airbrushed everything is going to try to fuck this fucking one whore. I think actually I'd watch the show if it was all of them at the same time, but uh, all of them, and I don't want to give out any more details because I don't want to publicize this fucking horseshit of show, but I, it, everybody kind of jumped into it and were like, what the fuck? The way it started, and I mean, I believe up on the YouTube channel, so I don't have to chew my food twice, is the complete description of my interaction with Kenny King in Ring of Honor and why I've never been a fan. Um, So we don't need to go through that whole story. If you want to know the background, go to Tiny URL, whatever the fuck, corny YouTube, and listen to my Kenny King story, but... I'm just sitting here looking because, you know, I do the Twitter on the computer because I don't have the smartphone. So I'm doing some emails or trying to the other day and I put on the Twitter and I'm looking through that for comments and everything. And I had seen this before. Somebody had tweeted, what do you think? Uh, what are your thoughts on Kenny King being on this fucking new reality show? And I didn't respond to it because I didn't have any thoughts. I've never watched this show before and I don't intend to break my perfect record. And I don't care whether he's on it or not. But then somebody else later on, and see, I know they're trying to instigate. Somebody else later on tweets the the screenshot of, you know, what do you think of Kenny King being on this reality show, which they sent him also. And Kenny King responding, it doesn't matter what his cheeseburger eating stuck in 1975, you know, fucking fat ass or whatever has to say about it. Well, you just know I got to do something about that. Um, so he actually, he started it folks. I feel like I'm in grade school now. He started it. I wasn't going to say anything about him, but since he started it, I proceeded to tell everybody Kenny King was a lion sack of shit, a fucking horrible wrestler, which he is a goddamn uh, spot monkey fucking stunt show type wrestler. Cause he can dive and flip, but he can't put a match together. He was a liar and a fucking bullshit artist in goddamn ring of honor. And I have no desire to see his fucking new show. And every time he would try to come back on me, he would like somebody, one of his, one supporter he had tweeted, put Jim Cornette to sleep. And I retweeted, he already has every time I watch his matches. <laughs> <laughs> or I said, I'll be back in two minutes. I'm going to watch my DVD of the best of Kenny King matches. And he tweets back. That's about a minute longer than uh, the guys down at Boys Town tell me you last. <laughs> and then even Lance Storm has say it gets in and says, you know, Kenny, it probably wouldn't be a good idea to be the homophobic when you're about to be on a network reality show. And then and my other favorite one was suck a he told he actually said this to me on Twitter in front of people, suck a cheeseburger flavored dick. Which I'm wondering for people who like dick, if cheeseburger flavored dick might not be the answer to the blowjob crisis of uh, some people not getting enough. The blowjob crisis. The blowjob crisis <laughs> of, of 17, where a lot of people are not getting enough blowjobs. But anyway, the last thing I said to poor Kenny, uh, he said, "Well, I've I've got to go to the gym. That's something you'd burn, burst into flames if you went to Cornette." So I, I said, "Q." Incredible Hulk, sad walking away music as defeated man. 
as as defeated man <laughs> heads to a cheap nightclub to shake his dick in front of an old woman's face because he is by the way he is a, a that's his full-time job as a male stripper that's why he never got to be any better of a wrestler because he only worked about two or three times a month because he was too busy shaking his dick in cheap nightclubs and old women's faces so that was everybody wanted me to comment on it for some reason it was a resounding knockout uh verbal evisceration I'd feel sorry for him, except I don't because he's an idiot and, and he deserved it. Uh, but everybody wanted me to comment on it on this week's show. So we had to do that. What, what was it? Go suck a cheeseburger. Go flavored? suck a cheeseburger flavored dick. We should, and, put, we should put that on a T-shirt, make some money off this. <laughs> well, I'm thinking about why don't we come up with a way to make the dick cheeseburger flavored? I'm going to come with some dick <laughs> well, flavoring. Not all, not all women like cheese on their burgers. So you have to make one that's just hamburger flavored. Well, we could we could do like we could do like hamburger, cheeseburger, bacon cheeseburger. You could have your options there. It, it, I'm telling you, it could solve the blowjob crisis of 2017 because there's people out there, ladies and gentlemen, that don't have enough blowjobs of their own, I and mean, we need to figure out a way to get them some more blowjobs. I know there are different kinds of I don't know if lubricants is the right word, but different kinds of sprays or jellies or whatever it is that you can apply to your private areas that taste like strawberry or watermelon or whatever. Are there any meat flavored <laughs> accessories well, I, that you can bring into the bedroom? I would think the meat's already already in there. You'd just probably want the condiments. Maybe what about a mayonnaise flavored lube? Relish. Which, <laughs> well, I don't know about relish. Well, I guess it would kind of fit. But then you could go Chicago style and really, all right, nevertheless, 